I regard color in a photograph interesting if it surprises me. That is why I have no interest in photographing landscapes. I know that the sky is blue and trees are green and the earth is brown. The same is true of a portrait. I know exactly what the color of skin is and so color does not interest me. I find that black and white abstraction conveys other aspects of the subject that are far more important than color. On the other hand, in an interior, or at least in some interiors, one has no idea what the colors might be, and the colors may indicate certain individual tastes, certain materials, a level of culture or even of social class. This I find interesting. In interiors, color provides an added dimension that is absent in black and white. I am not concerned at all about color composition. It has no interest for me. If I am photographing an interior with, for example, a great deal of orange in the lower left, if I were concerned about pictorial matters, I would try to put some complementary blue in the upper right. But I am not interested in that. As with black and white interiors, I respect the taste of someone who has a great deal of orange and no blue. I set up the camera and photograph the interior and I let the colors speak for themselves. I feel it is important for a photographer or an artist in any medium to be impressionable. Unfortunately, artists, painters and photographers quite frequently repeat themselves year after year and I think this is very dangerous. When I feel that work is going very well, that I am producing very easily, I begin to ask myself questions. I begin to question my work. Perhaps it is time for a change, to stop and rethink what I am doing. There is always a danger when production becomes too easy. That is when one becomes commercial. In other words, your work may sell very well in the galleries because you are identified with a style. Then you are stuck in that style. But in terms of your personal development as a human being, as an artist, you are going nowhere. I believe it is the photographer's duty to show us the world and human beings inhabiting it to a vision that is always changing, to attempt to reveal the commonplace through a vision that is as fresh as a child's, a child who has never before seen this or that object and is enjoying the pleasure of discovery. Endless discovery of the world is what the photographer should convey to people.